about me, talking about women too. Read. He's uh, led us into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Right. He said that what, brother? He that what? Lead us into captivity. Read. Shall go into captivity. Uh-huh. Read. These are killed with the sword. They killed us with the sword then, but today they are killing us with the gun. Read. Must be killed with the sword. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, this is the patience and the faith of the saints because it tells us that we have to be patient. We're not supposed to go and get guns and all that stuff and go out and try to fight these people because we don't have any military might. We have to wait for the Most High to come back to destroy these people. And when he comes back and destroy these people, Read what you got, my brother. Obadiah chapter Obadiah 17 and 18. Read. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. But upon Mount Sinai, that's us, Israel. Read. And there shall be holiness. Read. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall possess the Edomites possession. And the house of Jacob shall be a flame. And the house of Jacob shall be a flame. And the house of Joseph. And the house of Joseph a flame. Uh-huh. And the house of Esau. And the house of who? Esau. That's the white man. Read. For stubble. For stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Uh huh. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. See, after a thousand years, they're going to be gone. They're not going to be in existence anymore. They're going to be destroyed. But this is what's going to happen to them when that day comes. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. He's going to have mercy on us. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose Israel. And set them in their own land. Uh-huh. And set them in their own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers are those other nations. See, God created 18 nations. You see, this right here, this is all the people that are in the world. These are 18 nations. Read, brother. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us because they, they know what's going to happen to them. Read. And the people should take them. We're not going to ask no questions. We're going to go out and we're going to take them. Read. And bring them to their place. And bring them to their place where they're supposed to have been all the time. But because of our disobedience by not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, he put our enemies over us. Read on, brother. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Now, if you possess some, what that mean? If you possess, if you possess some, that means it's yours and you own it. That's right, sister. Read on. Them in their land uh -huh. of the Lord for servants. They're gonna be servants. Read. And handmaids. And handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captives. And they shall. We're going to take them captives. Read. Whose captives they were. Whose captives we were. We're going to take them captives. Read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're going to rule over our oppressors. Who is oppressing us, brothers? Who is oppressing us? The white man. The white man is oppressing us. But we're going to rule over our oppressors. Read on. And that's what's going to happen, sister. Thank you. Everything, that's all going to happen. We're going to rule over these people. But you know what? You got to get them fringes. You got to get a dress. You know, you get a dress, you can put on, like, like, my, like my wife. See? She got her tights on. See, she got her tights on. But she got a dress on with her fringes up, on, up under. You see? That way you won't be showing your figure because you're not supposed to be showing your figure. That's right. Until nobody but your husband. Nobody but the man that you sleep in the bed with is the only one that's supposed to be seeing your figure in any kind of way. He be mad too. Why you and you should to And you know what, sister? But sister, you know what? You should listen to him. He's telling you exactly right. He's not telling you nothing wrong. He's trying to tell you something that's going to save your soul. See, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to tell you something to save your soul. What you can do? Get him a... Get him a... a, a something 
to get in. We be downtown, right there at the bus stop on Sad on, on some Saturday. We be here. What side of town you guys stay on? Well, we be right there downtown every Saturday. And then we, you know where the old Walmart is? Where you, where you from? Oh, look here. You can catch this bus right here. Catch a 20 bus, you can get over there. But we be here, we be downtown most of the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, get with us, with my wife, my wife need a, a, a sister with us. She, you see, she the only one. We had sisters out here, but those sisters, they are wicked and they are evil and they don't want to listen to nobody. The way you accept this sister? Of, uh, Romans chapter 8 and 16. This is going to show you what it is right now that it is. Because a lot of huh? because a lot of a lot of people they don't they they when you tell them they should have a pair of pants on, they get mad with us, they start cussing us out and tell us we can't tell them nothing. You know? But the Bible is telling them this is this is why you this is why you guys was hearing that and didn't get mad. Yeah, read that, brother, for the sister. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Uh huh. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. See, y'all spirit bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. That's why y'all didn't get mad. So if anybody need anything, any water, any, any